Door trap. Ooh, cap can action. A little cap can action. Oh. Now that's a booby trap. Oh. Oh. Are you spectating Monty? Uh -huh. Dude, look, you can get a valve cam. Oh, dude. Now let me throw my sticky cam. Oh, oh dude, they steal it. They steal it. Hello? They steal it. What game? It, it looks just like R6. It looks just like it. 5v5. Preparation phase. Uh huh. One death per round. Uh huh. Drones on attack. Cameras on defense. Yes. Leaning mechanics. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Is there a hostage mode and a bomb mode? Mm, yeah, they steal it. <laughs> okay. Do headshots work? <laughs> Bruh. They stealing. Rip off police is on the way. You dumb. You get Area 52 gone. I'm not seven year. I'm adult. Bro, you a straight up B word. Why the game shut down because of you and others saying it's a scam. It take them years to make the game. And it only lasted one month. <laughs> F you. You made it happen. No context, just I made it happen. Not sure what he's referring to. He is the worst YouTuber ever. Everybody unsubscribe. Kind of ruined the fun, dude. I've watched you since forever, but that game was blah, 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 blah. Of course, some dude had to come and ruin it. These comments are from the last ripoff video I made on a game called Area F2. I can check cams, dude? No way. They're just like, we don't care, dude. Fine. Oh my goodness. We're droning. Moments after I dropped the video, we're talking same day here. News broke of Ubisoft, the creators of Rainbow Six Siege, suing Google and Apple for Area F2 being on their App Store and Play Store. Oh, dude, they're offering refunds. I actually spent like 14 bucks on rubles in that game and I can go get a refund? Let's go, dude. Oh. So seemingly accidentally, I triggered the entire mobile gaming Area F2 community. Clearly what happened here with Area F2 is, is I made a video and Ubisoft, all of them being subscribed to me and loving my content, <laughs> watched it and then immediately created a lawsuit and filed it, everything completed in the span of about an hour and the game got removed the following day. Which makes me the fake, fake game police. Who wants to get sued next? <laughs> the natural next step here is to look at this Rainbow Six Siege ripoff that I'm about to show you and see if they get sued in the next hour or so. And then at the end of the video, we actually get in a call with the developers to let them defend themselves. Is there any reason that you would think that you might be sued? We've talked with a lawyer. The game on trial today is a 5v5 FPS with attackers outside and defenders inside. There's different game modes with an objective like defuse a bomb or save a hostage. Aw, oh, what a bummer. There's a prep phase before each round starts where defenders prepare the inside with different gadgets like booby traps and sticky cameras and maybe get a little extra armor. And attackers drone around working on an attack plan and gathering intel. It's a flying drone. Can you team kill on this game? Uh... Can only die once per round. Best of nine wins. <laughs> Smells like siege. But it's not siege, it's zero hour. Oh, look at me do the wiggle, dude. Oh, I can repel. Oh, it's the same sound as siege. Repel mechanics? I shoot cams? Oh! Dude, no 10 points. Deliberate. Is this supposed to be like droning except for I'm floating in the air? Wait, I'm rushing. Oh, dude, they're spawn peeking us. Mm, bruh. My first multiplayer game had a three year queue time. I was just queuing for like three years. <laughs> We're going in, dude. Look at him go. And when you die, you just hear a loud bass boom. You literally, they can shoot you without you. literally can't even see them. It's friggin' Siege. Headshots also don't work on this game. I'd be fine with not playing this again for a long time. And then I streamed it on Twitch for a long time. Dude, press one, two, three really fast with your fingers. Guys, let's attack this bit here. Okay, to be fair, you, I, you, uh. <laughs> <laughs> the doors are trash, fix the doors. Hello. Three, three, three. When you run for so long, your head will start to bob around and you'll be inaccurate for an amount of time. This is to help prevent rushing. Hmm. Preventing rushing. I'm rushing, dude. I like the straight mechanic. He's at the hallway. He's peeking me off. Right I got him, right. him, I got him, I got him. Lovely. Right, hey, another, another. Oh, let's go! So let's we get go. it. There's obviously a lot of similarities between this game and Rainbow Six Siege. Uh-oh. My game just went and then crashed. To be fair, though, it was the Vulcan mode. Which, when you try to open the Vulcan one, it says may not work. 
You all right, bro? But this is like the final boss Karen of Rainbow Six Siege ripoffs. <laughs> is this R6? It's supposed to be everything that R6 isn't. No, what I was asking is like, so say Rainbow Six Siege has these maps and these rules and you can't use gadgets. Is that a good game? Everybody was requesting that I do a ripoff video on this game, so I paid 12 bucks for it off Steam, only to find out that even the guy who made it wanted me to make a freaking ripoff video on this game. You're not sponsored by these guys, are you? No, no. Were you like waiting to make sure I wasn't sponsored before you started roasting them? Yeah. <laughs> so some of you might recognize this developer, and that's because, yep, they've made a Rainbow Six Siege ripoff before, and I made a video on it. What's up? What? Get dumped on, kid. <laughs> So to prove I'm not affiliated, we got a roast them. Okay, Mr. Got the worst sight I've ever played. Absolutely trash. Sprinting three miles an hour like I'm like I'm some sort of infant. Can I open this door? Oh, I have to calmly open it. The opposite of Call of Duty. Opening door of my forehead, maximum velocity. So with Ubisoft handing out lawsuits to hackers and games like their freaking pepperoni pizzas, I had to ask the guy, is he afraid of getting sued? Welcome to the Supreme Court of Video Game Ripoffs, where the comment section is the judge and jury. The last game that I made a ripoff video on, obviously they got sued and taken down off the Play Store. Yeah. It was a mobile game. Are you at all worried about that happening? According to me, I, like, I guess like overall, everyone from our team would actually say the same, which is I don't think there's any reason for Ubisoft to sue this for a ripoff of an RV6, at least from our perspective, because uh, there is nothing that we're taking from their game. There can be stuff like, for example, as a defender, you can actually see the cameras, right? Overall, they don't really own the idea of a 5v5 game with this many gadgets or this kind of gadget, right? There, there is enough difference to where I think if they did create a lawsuit, it would mostly be beneficial to you in the fact that it would bring a lot of attention to your game. We've talked with a lawyer internationally when you read the product how similar does something need to be to be actually getting sued you know okay. like properly sued. and according to him the answer for that was if you have five major differences you're already out of that spectrum. interesting we're not really a ripoff because we're at the end of the day we're kind of going for a very different vibe before you decide the verdict in the comments section, take a look at Street Fighter 2. Wait a second, this isn't Street Fighter 2. This is a game that was sued by Capcom in 1994, and Capcom lost the lawsuit. How about this Pac-Man ripoff? What do you think? Well, they were sued by Atari and forced to cease production of the game. And this game sure looks like Tetris, doesn't it? But apparently, they're in the clear. So while you and I, out of common sense, point and laugh at the obvious similarities and say that's stealing, copyright law would say that it's just another way of expressing a game rule. Technically, even even Area F2 might be in the clear, which might explain why Ubisoft sued Apple and the Play Store instead of suing the game developers directly. So it may seem like copyright law in gaming needs to be reformed, but just imagine for a second if Fortnite had lost the lawsuit to PUBG. Just some thoughts. Oh my gosh. I have become a ripoff myself of Warden, the worst operator. Anyways, I'll be live after this video is posted, so there's a link in the description if you'd like to come watch. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. <laughs> it's the man with the Wii remote.